This is a no stress zone. So leave all of your fears and your worries behind. Just look into the sage and let it cleanse your soul and prepare for the recording. Thank you for joining Pisces TV. Star Seed TV, leave all the negativity behind. This is a no stress zone. <laughs> Welcome back to Pisces TV with Dr. MB. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, <clears throat> and Rising Sign Finances for the Good Full Moon, November 12, 2019. My readings are timeless. I do set the intention on the immediate future, 24 hours to four weeks. Um, but I say give or take no more than seven days. Okay. So all of my newcomers, you are welcome. If this video does resonate with you, be sure to hit the like button because that's how you support my channel. Right. Um, check your notification bell for all of my returners. If you're appreciated. I love you. Thank you. Um, be sure to check the community board as well as the description box, okay, for my contact information, the services I provide, and a link to the Etsy store. Um, I do have a couple of specials for the full moon, but all the specials from last week have been removed. And without further ado, we will get started. As soon as I pick these cards up. Now, at the end of the reading, I will be pulling a couple of oracle cards for you guys so go ahead and set those intentions um if you have any questions and i will um maybe provide you with some clarity now all right so now i have those <clears throat> let's go i see summon Rising Sun Finances November 12, 2019. So, what we got for my Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun? What do we have for my Pisces? All right. Okay. So, some of you guys have recently departed from your job, from your passions, your past passions, um, in order to do something new. And I say that because you have this ace on the bottom of the deck. So a new start, something more creative. Maybe you got tired of clocking in and clocking out. Um, or maybe you went from entrepreneurship back into the corporate America. Supporting this eight of uh, cups, we have two cups. So, maybe they weren't paying enough. Maybe it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. And if you guys hear a baby snoring in the background, my son is sleeping, I don't want to move him. Because then we wouldn't get through this reading. Okay? So, um, you departed from something for equilibrium. Right? So, maybe you had this aha moment. Because we have shadow work here coming up in your past and shadow work is when you separate yourself or at least acknowledge the darkness right the self-sabotage was blocking you and i know this is you pisces and not the job because here you go so you you brought a real delicate energy to this situation it's not like you went up and there acting ignorant right so you brought a very delicate side of yourself you were vulnerable in the situation, and it's like you made a wish to do something different with this star here. So it's like, I don't think you felt appreciated because you're looking at the shadow side, and it's like what you want and what you wishing for is like behind you. So you're not looking at that. I think you were more so, um, which is good, focusing on the things that you didn't want, right? So let's see what's, what's uh, in the near future. We have some communication that's going to come in quickly for whatever this is you're wishing for. All right. And then for any concerns, 
um, or areas that you need to pay attention to, we have this Knight of Wands. So I think take some of your emotions out of the situation with the Knight of Wands that speaks to courage, 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 perseverance, strength. You might have to put some muscle up in here. So when you go to that boardroom, right, or when you go to your little one-on-one -on -one meeting and y'all talk about your raise, you're going to have to dominate it. So this is going up in there and dominating it. And I think what you were doing before was kind of underselling yourself because this page of wands, and I think you guys had this before, but it's like you, you've you grown up or grew some strength. I wanted to say you grew some balls, right? But I ain't want to fit nobody, okay? Let me scoot this back so y'all can see. Okay, so you grew up, <clears throat> and I think it happened pretty quickly. I think you noticed the toxic behaviors. I think you noticed that you were unhappy. I think you noticed that this has been going on long enough, and it kind of you kind of felt stuck. It was like, so do I just hang around the situation, or do I take control of the situation? And guess what you do? You definitely take control of the situation. Some of you walked away from a job because you were being micromanaged and kind of like kept in this position. And I've been there in corporate America, like where somebody won't let you move. You try to apply for something, but it's kind of like they need you where you are for their benefit. But it's like, I'm good enough to go on. Okay. And you just said, I'm not, look, I'm not investing my time playing entry level positions anymore because I deserve top dollar. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles is saying, I've busted my ass with y'all. I'm sitting here looking at the work that I've done, and you owe me more than that. Okay, and so that's why you have this wand, your level of creativity, your passion, your drive, your perseverance. I think just like a relationship, this job kicked your ass and grew you up or made you tired, made you frustrated. And so this is the, what is it? The straw that breaks the camel's back. That's exactly what happened. So to y'all that are in this video, if this resonates with you, feel free to leave comments. But you definitely walked away from a micromanager or like I said, just somebody who was putting more in their pockets than in your pocket, kind of making you feel stuck in a situation. And you said no mas. Okay. So you are rebuilding. We have the four of wands here that does represent a restructure of some sort, like re laying down a whole new foundation. And with this beaver moon, right, collecting his sticks, building his house, that's exactly what you're doing. It's like rehousing yourself. And you had to go through this point of this shadow side, right, um, to get to this growth. Let's see what else we can get before I do some clarifying. Okay. Something you had to sacrifice. It's like you sacrificed your dreams for this place. You sacrificed like maybe this is something you thought you always wanted to do because I saw the four of cups. This is something you felt you always wanted to do. But maybe at this place it kind of made you hate it. And so you were willing to sacrifice this thing that you once loved um, to do something better. And ooh, you're going to get an opportunity to do that because we have this Ace of Pentacles here. We have the Eight of Wands here. So that swift transformation is going to take you into this new beginning. And is it good or bad? You tell me. Tell me if it's a good or a bad change. <laughs> So this is that stability coming in with that emperor energy. This is the sudden change that probably took place or will take place with this eight of wands. And here's this blessing. You're being blessed for your growth because you had to do this or make this split decision um, in record time. Okay. And look at this. Anytime I have the will of fortune and a tower moment, baby, that's going to bang. So I think we're going to... Um, we're going to put this one for the thumbnail, right, for all the naysayers. Um, but that is beautiful. What you think, guys? You win. I won't say win the lottery because, you know, I had, I've, had, I've had some readings that did point to that. But I feel so this is more so career oriented. Um, I don't think you could just get lucky and find some money outside 
<laughs> but for the most part, those of you that are thinking about traveling um, for another job, spirit is saying go and maybe you're talking yourself out of it because you're thinking of, you're thinking from your lower self. But if you think from your higher self, it will be something that emotionally fulfills you with the nine of cups that we got. Right. Or um, we got some cups. I forgot what cups, but definitely a change and a change for the better and here's your shadow side over here here's that queen of cups right there right head over heels just about to go straight deep dive in forward right so this is even the universe pushing you for this leap of faith maybe you didn't want to that's why i said some of you guys may have actually gotten laid off um or something happened where like your car messed up and you missed some days and got rolled up silly stuff like that um, with this um, taking a leap of faith and this sudden change, I think the universe is pushing you out of this situation. Okay? So tell me if this resonates, guys. Leave me comments. Uh, don't forget to check the daily vibe. And we'll go ahead and take some oracle cards. I like that. And it is financial improvement because you guys got the emperor and the king of pentacles. Not... The queen, the only queen you got was this queen of cups. And that's because I think it just puts you in a vulnerable position. Or if you guys are taking a new position and you are kind of like intimidated because you're learning and you're used to being this emperor. Like I said, it's just going to take some adjusting. But overall, I like it. And I think that that toxic energy that kept you feeling stuck. If it wasn't the boss, I feel for some of you just looking at this shuffle here. I feel for some of you, it was your own self that kept yourself stuck. Mm -hmm. Look, and the universe pushed you right on out of it, or she will. And I just saw 11 11. Um, so this may be coming up for you guys. If, if you've been having some battles at work, um, the universe is going to push you out of it so that you can create something else. You're going to work somewhere else. Because you're going to be bold. Look, you're going to be bold with this um, strength card here. <laughs> you're going to be bold. And being bold, honey, you're going to stand up tall. So if you think you're going to fall, don't worry. You're going to fly. Let me see. You're going to fly. And don't block your blessing. If you don't fly, if you don't jump, if you don't go, you could miss an opportunity. So I'll just say that. And what do we have? Let's see. Look at this. Life is speeding up the antelope. So I hope you guys set your intentions on your questions to get some answers. Bam, look at this. Claim your independence. And I'll take one more. Trust the great mystery. Come on, man. You got to jump. You got to take that leap. I hate when they just be. Child, my son is really asleep and tired. Like, he got a job. And let's see. Why is life speeding up? What is this antelope? Ooh, pathway. So that's a transformation. You guys have been on a journey to transform into what? Into this official person. So you're coming into your power financially. So if you are worried about an increase, this increase is coming as your courage increases and your confidence increases, your pockets, look at, bam, your pockets are going to increase, my dear, okay? Claim your independence. And what is the great mystery? That's probably this Wheel of Fortune movement, leaving. You're not going to be there. I'm telling you. And then what we got, that's what I was waiting for. That's why I picked this deck. Boom. Sudden wealth. So, I think that's going to be our thumbnail. Okay. Let's see. I like this little cat, though. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at that. I'm going to put it like this. Boop. I want y'all to see it. So, just take a good look. Take a good look. Take a good look. Uh, take a good look. Uh, I like that. The cat spirit. Claim your independence. 777. 
All right, I hope this resonated with you. If it does, again, thumbs me up because that's what? How you support my channel. And until next time, namaste.